there's pros and cons to deciding which type of mulch material you want to use. A lot of times in commercial large scale operations, we for mulch we use uh, plastic mulches that are, that are made from polyethylene. And so we wanted to here evaluate some different types of mulch uh, to look at uh, biodegradability. We want to increase the, the usability of plastic mulches in organic operations. So the concept here is that we use biodegradable mulches that can be tilled in place. They can just be tilled right into the soil. And they thought that the microbes in the soil will begin to break down those materials over time. We have a couple of different mulch products. Uh, we have one that is uh, made from a, poly, a polyester material. So it looks kind of like this. Uh, it's called Bio 360. Uh, these are listed as craft type paper. So kind of like a construction paper kind of set up if you want to come and give it a feel. They can be pretty rigid. Basically the paper getting wet and, and really softened and it'll rip. So then as it dries out, it gets rigid again, but then we get, you know, the wind picks up and it kind of rip, it can kind of rip these up a bit. However, I want you to notice if you look at them, you'll see some of the more uh, plastic-like materials have these, uh, let's see if I see one, have some nut sedge popping through. You'll notice on the paper, we really don't get any weeds emerging through the paper, uh, kind of on the tops of the beds here. So they do really well with that. I mean, I'm interested in uh, doing some studies where we maybe uh, lightly mist the papers to make them a little bit more malleable. So hopefully they, they kind of lay on the bed a little bit easier without those kind of rips. Did you see a cost difference between purchasing plastic or the paper? Yeah, can anybody guess which one may be more expensive? Yeah, more expensive paper. Paper. Uh, not, yeah. <laughs> per 100 foot of some of these paper mulches, they run about 50 bucks. Uh, per 100 foot of the control of the polyethylene material, you're talking maybe $15. The thought is that we will make up for some of that on the labor end is when it comes to removing these materials. These materials are just going to get tilled in versus yeah. where these materials we have to go out and spend some time to remove them.